Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a common Windows 10 or Windows 11 error message. This is that an authentication error has occurred. The local security authority cannot be contacted. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in a keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And now you want to go ahead and type in the second command. It's going to be N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Again, exactly how it appears on my screen. Go ahead and hit enter. Should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your device. One further thing we can attempt as well, if we are running Windows 10 or Windows 11 Professional or higher editions, we can enable the remote connection policy as well. That could be a potential issue here. So open up the search menu, type in group policy, best match, or come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Let me just make this window a little bit wider here. And now underneath computer configuration, you want to double click on the administrative templates folder and then do the same thing for the windows components folder locate the remote desktop services folder right here and then double click on that should be a uh, remote desktop session host just go ahead and left click on that or you can double click on it as well but we're going to go over to the right side at this point and underneath setting go ahead and double click on connections and there should be something that says allow users to connect remotely by using remote desktop services and go ahead and double click on that. So at this point, go ahead and slot enabled and you're going to slot apply and OK. Again, this is only if you're still having an issue after doing what I already showed. And then you would have to restart your computer for this policy change to take effect. So go ahead and restart your device. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward tutorial for you. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.